to answer any questions. One of the congressmen who was there, Georgia Congressman Phil Gingrey of the House Energy and Commerce Committee, joins us this morning. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning, Eric. So what was your reaction when these guys are just taking the fifth? Well, we expected that, even though uh, less than a month ago they said that they would come gladly any time, any place, uh, and testify to the committee uh, without pleading the fifth. They would answer any questions, and then within just a two-week period of time, obviously they reneged on that because uh, I'm sure some of the things that they would have said uh, under sworn oath uh, would indeed have incriminated them. So uh, they took their constitutional rights to uh, not incriminate themselves. So I wasn't surprised at all, but very disappointed in their lack of truthfulness. So do you believe by doing that, that they, as you said, would incriminate them, that they or Solyndra committed illegal acts? Eric, without question, I'm holding, if you can see it, uh, the chronology of emails, some 50 emails uh, that went back and forth between Solyndra and the Department of Energy, uh, OMB, and the White House. It starts back in uh, uh, August of 2006 when they first applied for this loan. Well, it was a different loan program at that time, but finally, uh, 9 2008 2011 this month indeed, when the FBI raided uh, the corporate headquarters. So uh, this thing stinks from start to, to finish, uh, and uh, we really need to get to the bottom of it. And do you think those potential illegal acts, uh, as you suspect, could they reach into the White House? Well, it, Eric, thank you for asking me that, because it really does become a question of who know, knew what and when did they know it? Indeed, and, and we, we're going to connect these dots. We're far from over. These executives, of course, pled the fifth, uh, but I don't think uh, folks, and we've already interviewed uh, people involved in the loan program, uh, this loan program uh, in the Department of Energy and, of course, OMB and their contacts with uh, Vice President Biden's office and Valerie Jarrett and others, and we're going to find out if there was any uh, sweetheart deal for Solyndra because this gentleman, Kaiser, uh, who had, through his foundation, already invested over a billion dollars in this startup company, uh, and, and he bundled money for uh, President Obama during the 2008 elections. So, you know, it doesn't really pass the smell test. If they can give us some information that satisfies uh, the, uh, not just the committee members, but the taxpayer, uh, that everything was done properly, uh, then uh, so be it. But I would say that these emails that we've got already would suggest that there's no way this can pass the smell test. It is the committee in Tend to call Mr. Kaiser, who apparently had what, like 16 contacts with the White House. Uh, he's an Obama, uh, absolutely. Obama uh, campaign uh, bumper. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, absolutely, absolutely, we will do that, and we're going to follow this thing until we finally get the answers. I mean, this is 500 billion dollars of taxpayer money. It's gone. It is absolutely gone. Uh, and, and I highlighted a number of these emails, but in this clip I know we don't have time to go over it, but uh, there were a number of issues where emails from the people involved in the loan program at Department of Energy said, you know, don't be rushing us like this in the future. We know that you've got a press event set up in, in uh, Torrance, California, where the company is located, and Vice President Biden wants to do a satellite interview, and Secretary Chu is going to be there, and we want to set up a press opportunity for the, for the president later on in the year, and so we need to get this out the door. And they basically said to the White House, don't be forcing things like this on us until we've completed our due diligence. Indeed, the Bush administration, same people, had said, you know, this company uh, is burning money. Uh, they, they don't have the, the financials, uh, the liquidity, and we're going to back away from Solyndra and then after Obama, President Obama was inaugurated, the whole process started over, but indeed it started on, on a fast track so they could get this, as they say, out the door. All right, well, we'll see what happens, and it cost us 500, uh, $535 billion, and as right. you promised, you're going to try to call Mr. Kaiser, and let's see if he uh, testifies. Well, this or... program costs uh, 500, 500 million, uh, uh, but yeah, there were, there, there, there's billions of dollars involved in the program, Eric, and you're absolutely right. This is not just chump change. That, yeah, that's true. We'll see what Mr. Kaiser says. I'm sorry I misspoke with billion, but man, it's a lot of money. All right. It's thank a you, lot of money, Eric. Jamie? Thank you very much. Thanks to both of you. Pakistan.